The Three Witty Goats Gruff Written by Laura Rosler Illustrated by Juan Vu Dedicated to my children, Sean and Nicole, my nephew, Noah, and my students, past, present, and future. You know who you are. You inspire me. Simple. Once upon a time, there were three goats, all named Gruff. They lived up on a rocky side of a hill. Every morning, Baby Gruff, Brother Gruff, and Sister Gruff gazed across the river at the long strands of fresh grass that grew there. They dreamed of one day crossing the bridge to fill their empty bellies. But they did not dare, for under the bridge lived a greedy old troll. His eyes were fierce and piercing, his nose long and winding as a stream. Although he would eat anything he could find, his favorite meal was goat chops. One day, when the three goats could no longer withstand their grumbling tummies, they summoned up the courage to cross the bridge. They were indeed very frightened, but they thought long and hard, day and night, and at last came up with a plan. Baby Gruff was the first to cross the bridge. Trip, 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 echoed the bridge. Who's that trip tropping over my bridge? roared a greedy old troll. Oh, quivered Baby Gruff. It is only I, Little Goat Gruff. I was just going up the hillside to eat some fresh grass, said Baby Gruff in her little voice. I don't think so, snapped the greedy old troll. I sure am hungry, and I'm going to eat you up for breakfast. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to do that, reassured Baby Gruff. I am much too small. Hardly a meal at all. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger. Tastier, for sure. A bigger, tastier goat sounded delicious to the starving old troll. Very well, then, he said. Be off with you. And away he went to fetch a big plate. Shortly after, the second goat gruff came upon the bridge. Trip, drop, trip, drop, sounded the bridge. Who's that trip dropping over my bridge? Roared the greedy old troll. Oh, shivered Brother Gruff. It is only I, Medium Goat Gruff. I was just going up the hillside to eat some fresh grass, said Brother Gruff in his medium voice. I don't think so, bellowed the greedy old troll. I sure am hungry, and I'm going to gobble you up for lunch. Oh, no, no! Don't eat me! explained Brother Gruff. I may not look small, but I'm hardly big at all. Wait for my sister. She sure is bigger, more delectable by far. An even bigger, more delectable goat sounded incredible to the ravenous old troll. Very well, then, he said. Be off with you. And away he went to fetch an even bigger plate. A little while later, a third goat gruff crossed the bridge. Trip, drop, trip, drop, shook the bridge. Who's that trip dropping over my bridge? Roared the greedy old troll. Oh, trembled Sister Gruff. It is only I, Big Goat Gruff. I was just going up the hillside to eat some fresh grass, said Sister Gruff in her big voice. I don't think so yelled the greedy old troll. I sure am hungry, and I'm going to chop you up for dinner. Oh no, that is not a good idea, began Sister Gruff. I may look big, but the best meal is yet to come. Wait until you see my papa. He sure is enormous, of mouth-watering proportions. An enormous papa goat of mouth-watering proportions sounded heavenly to the famished old troll. Very well, then, he said. 
be off with you. And away he went to fetch the biggest plate he could find. Across the bridge, over a luscious field of fresh grass, graced the three witty goats gruff. As for the greedy old troll, well, he is still waiting for Papa. The end.